So the other part of this Goliath monster. So, so here we're facing the monster, and some people are saying, we can reform the monster. Yeah, we can just knock off the bad edges. We can defeat Goliath in these little ways. We can force his surrender or something. They see a potential for victory in some sort of attrition. You know, if we just keep feeding the Goliath, eventually he'll eat too much. <laughs> you know, he'll eat too many of us and die. Human poisoning or something. It's a strategy, but you know, it's a strategy I would say logically has you no know, validity. So my argument would be that those are soldiers being just ground up for nothing. Have you ever done this before? You're going to see that the monster is you. Do you want me to show you? Crazy stuff. You know, let's kick the economic can down the road another day. Somehow we're going to get out of this debt problem by let's just borrow some more money. Let's get another credit card and put our credit card bill on our credit card. You know, that kind of crap. I mean, just totally futile, stupid solutions that will not solve the fundamental problem of the monster to stop the war. I don't want people to act out of a self-interest. I don't want them to act out of it. I have to expunge my guilt. Fuck that. That's not what soldiers do. I want soldiers who understand the mission, why the discipline is required, and how to effectively win the war. And you do that by fighting honorably doing your best. These people who want to reclamate life, they say we can fix it, we can fix it, we can do it. You know, it's nice that they're in the game and they're trying to be soldiers, but I metaphor that to trying to make a blender into a child safe toy. There's just no fucking way. So again, I'll defend doing your best. Making the best utility out of yourself. Trying to find the best path for yourself. Yeah. Not for your benefit, but to make yourself into the most effective sword. To make you capable of knocking the feet from under the Goliath. Anyway, so that's the context I want to put this in. So anyway, again, this guilt thing is just so obnoxious. There's nothing in my personal character driven by this notion of guilt. It's an emotion I have absolutely distaste for. I don't even like when I feel it because I generally say to myself, you're overreacting. And I say this emotion shouldn't be driving my behavior. So it's just stupid, I think. And I don't think Anaconda Bot has given us any example where the guilt ridden have blighted the world. I think the opposite is quite obviously true. People who are immune to guilt are the ones who have blighted the world. It just seems to me a huge rationalization for his own defeatism. He's basically conceded he can't win the war, he can't fight the monster, there is no way to win, and so again, he's just decided that he's going to just steal as much tasty cake as he can and fuck everybody else, period. Fuck the victims, fuck the other soldiers, fuck everything, except him. You can't win this war, and so the only sensible thing to do is not fight, it's just completely Borg acquiesce. He's just basically saying, if it happens, it happens. Worrying about it doesn't do any good, so I'm just going to have delusions and play. I'll be a silly person, I'll be a Kramer, and just take every moment like there's no Goliath stomping around on Earth. He's just seeing the war as an opportunity, He's saying, look, there's nothing here, the mission statement sucks, so let's just figure out a way to have fun. And that's it. So he's just a bad soldier. A rotten human being. Sorry, but it's just the truth. I see huge failure, obviously, in um, that dishonest retreat. If you're going to surrender, then surrender honestly. If I'm going to concede defeat, yes, as you even said it, either get busy dying or get busy living. So anyway, I think I've done my job here. It's about as half as good as I was hoping for. But like I said, I am using a lot of metaphors here and people are just gonna pick that shit to pieces. But I think if you really listen to what I'm saying, you'd understand that I think the war can be won. If I thought it was a lost cause, I'll put a bullet in my own head long before I'll find satisfaction in playing hopscotch and just ignoring the truth, minimizing pretending the Holocaust never happened because everybody's dead. You <laughs> know, I'll put a bullet in my head before I go back. I mean, you want to give up, you want to surrender, that's your business. But don't be spreading that corruption. It is what it is. You looked out in nature and you could see all the, the disabled and the harmed and the limping.
you know, the, the animal lepers, so to speak, you might not have much reverence for nature. But the fact that it killed them so young and so quickly and so decisively gives you the illusion that it's all balanced and pretty and wonderful. You can walk the street and see the guy living in the cardboard box. Yeah, well then it's a little more real. The fact that Goliath was here is a little more real when you can see the victims. They're still there. Their corpses are still laying on the ground. You want to sit there and play hopscotch in the middle of the battlefield, go ahead. But when you're trying to drag other people into your futility, into your stupidity, that's where I would draw the line. The simplest solution is just to turn this sewage fucking making machine off.